come back to Tiny Kitchen Club. One of the reasons I started doing all these videos and these recipes in the first place was people kept telling me that they couldn't make this or they couldn't do that. I do everything from restaurant standard food, uh, light bites, a lot of Turkish food, Japanese food. One of the things I wanted to do as well was homely hearty classics. I don't think you can get much homelier than a corned beef hash. Now, this particular recipe has been handed down from my grandma. It's really cheap and it's really, really easy to do as well. If you've never cooked before in your life, you'll be able to make this perfectly just as well as I can. It's one of the meals that you leave on during the day, have it when you come home. It's so satisfying, so warming, especially for winter, it's brilliant. Four main ingredients and then something a little bit extra as well. It'll serve eight to 10 people, or it'll serve a couple of you for about three days as well. Have it for lunch, take it to work, you can freeze it. Um, it's so versatile and so, so tasty as well. I'll take you through the four ingredients that we have. So it wouldn't be a corned beef hash without corned beef. I have two tins or 700 grams of corned beef. I have two tins or 800 grams of baked beans. I have six or seven large potatoes that I've just peeled and then one large onion as well. So as you can see, I have roughly chopped the onion. It doesn't have to be anything perfect. And I've just sliced up my corned beef into sort of half centimeter slices. The next thing I'm gonna do is just slice up our potatoes as thin as you can get them, but don't take forever about it. it doesn't need to be perfect, okay? Fantastic, so it really is as easy as that. Just gonna to start to line the bottom of your slow cooker. Fantastic, so corned beef hash always strikes me as one of their meals from wartime where people needed to make their rations go as far as they could. So once you've got your potatoes lining the bottom of your slow cooker, next thing we're gonna do is go in with a layer of our corned beef. Again, doesn't need to be perfect, just so you have one layer of corned beef. Brilliant. Next, we're gonna continue to build up our layers with our onion, a couple of handfuls of onion in there. And then next, here's that secret ingredient I told you about. This just makes the corned beef from an average dish into a fantastic dish. So a little bit of Worcester sauce, not too much, just a nice light drizzle in there. And then we're gonna go in with some of our beans. Roughly half of your beans and just lightly spread them out. Again, doesn't need to be presentable, it's not a pretty dish, but the flavour more than makes up for it. And then once again, repeat with your potatoes. Fantastic. Another layer of your corned beef. Then get the rest of your onions in there. And then, pretty self-explanatory, the rest of your beans. And then with the remainder of your spuds, line the outside first of all. Couple of little splashes of Worcester sauce over the top before we fill the center in. Okay, so you're just gonna simply Pop the lid on your slow cooker and cook it on a low heat for about six hours and then this will be absolutely fantastic. Okay, one optional extra before you dish up. About an hour before your corned beef hash is ready to be turned off. Great, a little bit of uh, cheese on the top. As I say, this is 100% optional and then just put that lid back on and leave it for its final hour. Our corned beef hash has had approximately six hours. So as I said earlier, when it's ready to serve, you can either serve a couple of people for two or three days, or six to eight people in one sitting.